yeah anyways good morning i told you guys yesterday that i was going to be doing an updated um makeup routine i feel like um there's been a few people who have asked and it's so much easier to just do a recording on here instead of going on my stories and kind of wasting like 15 minutes of everyone's story time which is crazy and i'm gonna do my best to look into the camera and not the lens and look at myself all right let's hop in first before i start I did put a question box yesterday asking what people wanted to see specifically and some of them I'll just go over most of them or some of them um, let's see eyeshadow for everyday look um, someone also said eyeshadow I always feel like I look like a, ra a raccoon um, how to cover and help under under eye bags what's your go-to eye routine and concealer and then do naturally eye makeup that really highlights them eyeballs So, oh, and there's also fake eyelashes. I'm not going to do fake eyelashes today because someone also said um, you should do a going out look sometime. So I'm just going to wait to do the eyelashes when I do my going out look. And with that, let's begin. First, I'm going to start with primer. This is the Ulta Beauty Poreless Face Primer. I'm going to do the whole YouTuber thing really quick so you can see what the heck I'm talking about. So this is what I've used. Um, I've used this for the past few months. Um, it really does help reduce the rise of my pores just because of my cheeks. Um, as you can see, first we're going to do a close up for a second. Skin is not perfect whatsoever. Makeup really does help <laughs> cover up a lot of that. I do have rosacea that's right here in my nose. I have acne scars are all on my cheeks. Right now my body has been going through, um, hormonal imbalances. So my acne has just kind of been really, really mad. So. Just remember that. Sometimes whenever you see people wearing makeup, that doesn't mean that their skin is perfect. All right, so once I put in my primer, I'm gonna take my damp beauty blender, and usually I dampen my beauty blender, and then um, I take a towel and then I dry it inside of it, and I kinda let it sit for a little bit, just so where it's not like really, really wet. And then now I'm gonna take my foundation which i've been using for over a year this is the fenty pro filter matte foundation i'm in the color 150 this is actually really sad because 150 is my lighter color i usually wear 190 when i'm darker and i don't even think i've done that this summer which is like really sad and as you can see i don't know if you can tell but I'm like the rest of my body is so dark from michigan i didn't even wear makeup half the time and yet my face is still like pale so there's that that so I'm gonna go in with the Fenty Beauty I usually shake this up a little bit first and then I will put mm, maybe like three squirts in the back of my hand and then I'll take my beauty blender kind of dab it in a little bit and then start with like one section at a time oh sorry And since it is a pro mat, it does try on uh, pretty quick. That's why I like to go by section, just so I'm not rubbing it all over my face and then some sections are drying quicker than others. And then remember to always bring it down into your neck. Perfect. Next up is what I was just talking about, the Shape Tape Concealer. And I use the color Fair Neutral. I used to use Fair Light Neutral, but like I said, I'm just gonna do this. Plus I like when it's nice and bright and really white underneath the eye, because it really makes it pop. So for the questions as far as how do you help with um, under eye, so there's two different ways. One, you could just use a bright and a lighter, um, concealer usually go two shades shot two shades sh shot lighter <laughs> two shades lighter than your foundation another way you can do is uh, color correcting primer yeah so if you have like purplish undertones um, yellow is what kind of takes that out so if you find a, a yellow um, like color corrector like primer that'll really help and then make those pop as well 
So I'm going to go ahead and take this and I do put these in an upside down triangle right underneath my eye. I could not fall asleep until 2 o'clock in the morning last night. So we're just going to go ahead and just cover those under eyes. Um, I'm going to bring this down halfway. I actually learned something last night as a matter of fact. Um, if you are trying to make your nose look not as long, bring the concealer and just stop right before the tip. Because if you are bringing the concealer all the way down your nose, you are highlighting and defining it. Even when you're contouring it, um, I will um, contour and I will show you guys, um, like I'll just bring it right there. And then I'll show you how we contour. So that is where I place my concealer. And I'm gonna go ahead and blend that out and then we are gonna go in with, um, and I'm gonna show you guys how I um, also contour. So, and I don't do this every day. Um, sometimes I'll just take my bronzer and then I will be finished with Memento. Okay, so sometimes I'll just take my bronzer and then I'll just go in and do, do it like that. However, today I'm going to show you how I do um, my contour with a contour stick. Now, it comes with a highlighter side and a contour side. I only use a contour side because this, that's not, no, that's not highlighter. It is a highlighter, but it's just not. And I used to just take this and put it in, but it would create such harsh lines. So I will go ahead after I blend this out and show you how I do that. So let me grab my handy dandy mirror. And I'm just going to start blending this out. And I like to start right under the eye and look up and blend it and just go all the way out. So blend it and go all the way out. Blend it and go all the way out. This is when you can like really see a huge difference. So for this, I'm gonna take the contour stick and I'm gonna rub it on the very back of my hand like so, like this. Now I'm gonna take my small contour brush um, this is the real techniques I have like this one I have like a highlighter brush I have like a powder brush these are really really good um like not I guess drugstore I think like the box of it for all of those were maybe like it's like 20 bucks I think not bad so now that I've got all off my hand I'm going to take it and I'm going to start up here and then work my way under my cheekbone That way it's not harsh and it blends in perfectly. All right, and then I'm gonna go in and do the other side, but you can already tell a difference. Next, we have the line here where we wanna contour, but if you don't want it to look as harsh, it's, yeah, if you don't want to look as harsh, add more. Well, here's the trick. Just add a little bit more here, blend it out. And then we're just gonna go ahead and I'm really gonna blend this out. You really don't need a lot. And then just go where your, um, your line is and then flick it up. And that really does create a difference. And then um, this stick is the NYX Wonder Stick. And I think that's only like $8. It has been such a difference since I've started putting it in the back of my hand. All right. Um, and then for nose, I don't use um, this. Excuse me. I just go in with my bronzer, which is already the next step anyways. And I'm pretty much out, as you can see. And this is a drugstore product. This is the Wet n Wild Bronzer um, and Ticket to Brazil. Obviously, I like it because it's pretty much done. 2,000 years later. So I'm gonna take, this one's a, actually a blending eyeshadow brush, but I just use this um, as, to, or use this to contour my nose. So remember what I said earlier, don't go all the way down of contouring, stop right in here. So I'm gonna take this, and then start where my eyebrow is, and then go down. And then the same thing on the other side. And then kind of go like this. Okay. 
Okay, we're good. Anywho, now it's time to ba -ba 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 bake. And for this process, I use the Laura Mercier uh, translucent powder. I'm doing this on our new desk, and Blake is a neat freak, so I'm trying to make sure I don't get like makeup everywhere. So I'm gonna just take some powder. And I'm going to um, take my other beauty blender, and this is the one that I use, this is the Morphe sponge. Um, I use this one whenever I'm going to contour, or yeah, contour and highlight, or uh, bake. So I'm just gonna take some right here, and at first I'm gonna start right under here, and go down. This is helping highlight underneath the jawbone or the cheekbone. And if you didn't, if you had like a harsh line before, it really helps cover that out. All right, and then now I'm gonna do this under the eye. And this helps set your makeup as well so it doesn't move. Just go under, kind of like how we um, blend it out, you know, look up and then go out. And then usually I let this sit for like mm, five minutes maybe, if even. Just get some powder under there. And then also, if you're like doing something, like I feel like you're smiling a lot, go in right in here. I've noticed whenever I go to the hair salon, like when I'm talking a lot, and it's one of my friends who does my hair, I feel like I'm smiling a lot whenever I'm talking too, and by the time my salon appointment's over with, I have smile lines, so this really does help. All right, we are closer to being done. Kinda. Um, so while that's baking, let me put the rest of this powder in here. Um, I go in with my um, bronzer, with the same brush that I used, um, and this is just going to make sure, um, I don't even know why I do this stuff. I just think the bronzer just makes it look a little bit more lively. Just because it has a little bit more of like, um, like sparkly tones. Not sparkly tones, but, um, I don't know, it just blends out better this way. And then while you're, if you're doing it while you're baking, it won't, um, go in areas that you don't want it to. Oh, okay. All right. So now this is kind of like my favorite part. So while that's baking, we're going to do eyeshadow. Okay, make a decision. Everyday or, you know what? Let's do an everyday look, but maybe more of like, hold on, I gotta grab Q-tips. If you guys have seen my other makeup videos, I don't know why this happens, but every time I go to do my makeup, my nose runs. So I'm just gonna let this sit for a second and then we'll hop into eyeshadow. And we're back. So I've decided we're gonna do an everyday look, but maybe a little bit more like, let's, so we might do like a shimmer on the lid. So I have been obsessed with orange, like burnt orange, colors because I do have brown eyes so it kind of makes it pop a little bit um whereas I know like blues do but obviously I'm not going to be doing blue eyeshadow so for today we are just going to stick with the I made a decision we're just going to stick with the morphe um bronzed babe this one's a yep the brown babe bronze babe um palette so I'm going to go in with these two colors this is Hang 10 and Road Trip. And this is the Morphe, I just got one of these like really, really big blending brushes because I feel like I really only use that to like go on my crease. And I'm gonna take these two colors, blow out access. And then what I'm gonna do is, and I'm gonna kind of come up a little bit closer, is I'm gonna go in circular motions on, the, on my um, lid. So just watch like this. I'm gonna go similar or circular motions. And at first I'm gonna start out in the crease. And then I'm gonna work my way on the inside. So start on the outside, just blending. And that's why I love this blending brush because it just, it works so good, like blends it all out. So start inside and then work out or work 
in. And then um, I'm gonna go ahead and do that again. So go into Hague 10 and row trip, blow off excess, and then go in as a circle. And you're gonna kind of be going on a circle like over like half your lid and then in the crease and then bringing it in. So go over and then bring it in. And I'm not a professional, I swear like half the time that I do my eyeshadow, I have to fix my mistakes. Like sometimes it just gets a little crazy. All right, so now that I've gotten that, I'm gonna go ahead and do the other side. And then I think we might add maybe a little bit, maybe a little bit dark. I don't know, I don't know. We'll see how this goes. So go back in and then I'm just gonna speed this up in the video. All right, so I decided that we're just gonna add a little bit of, since I have orange on there, we're gonna add a little bit of brown to the crease and then just kind of like be done and call it and just do like a shimmer on the lip. So now I'm gonna go in with Beach Please. It's more of like a matted brown. And then do the same thing. But with this one, I'm gonna kind of stay more on the outside of the crease. And then blend inwards. Bit more light I would stick to just the first step that I did um, but whenever you do like the highlighter over your like eyeshadow and stuff it comes out a little bit better um, now for the lid I'm gonna be going in with the color you were lying this one's like a nice pink and I really like the pink and the orange tones right now too I'm just gonna do that and then you're just gonna go on your lid And then I stopped midway because I did darken the outside crease. All right, and then lastly for the eyeshadow, I'm just gonna take this big brush right here and then go in with just like a white. This one's like a just a glittery white and then highlight the brow bone. Okay, all right, we're moving along and I'm trying to try to speed this up because this is taking a little bit longer than I wanted to. Um, so if you, okay, so now we're gonna blend out all of the powder that was underneath my eye. And the good thing about having the powder underneath your eye when you're doing eyeshadow is that it's if you have like a lot of um, excess like powder on your brush and it falls onto your face you can just okay so I guess on my camera there's a time limit of how long you can record because it just cut me off and that is a sign of Sam McKenzie hurry up so we just blended out the powder now I'm gonna take the morphe actually no we're not done yet let me do under the eye um, <clears throat> I'm gonna grab a This is just like a staple brush and this one I'm gonna just take brown and go underneath because I don't want to use black if you do use a black eyeliner it does tend to make your eyes look a lot smaller my eyes are already small as it is so I'm just gonna go in the same brown color and then just go under and then do my liner Um, I really don't I wish I could do wing liner like I really wish I think there was like one time in my life I actually was successful at it um, And I have never been able to mimic it. So we're just gonna you know live with it and deal with it um, I know I said we're only doing brown, but I'm gonna go in with a little bit of a, the burnt orange underneath All right, and we're done Now here we go, and I'm going to spray and set everything with the morphe continuing setting mist I do this at the very end before I do my highlighter because pro tip, if you do spray um, and then do your highlight after, it comes out way more bomb. So we're gonna go ahead and do this. 
I kind of go up and down uh, motion and then go out. Fan it out, fan it out. Now, I'm gonna take my two highlighter brushes. So I have this for my Cupid's bow and then the inner corner of my eye and then this is just for everywhere else. And I'm gonna give them a really good spray because like I said, if you have highlight on it, it just comes out way more bomb. For the inside corner of my eyes and everything else, I do use ColourPop's Flexitarian. This is what the color looks like. It is absolutely gorgeous. It's more of like a pink, but it does have like, I don't know, like subtle like golds in there. Um, use this right here on my Cupid's bow, right down here on my nose. Do use this up here, even though we did use the white um, eyeshadow. And then most importantly, right in here. Okay. And uh, my saying is there's never enough highlighter. Just keep using it until you don't want to anymore. Um, and then now on my cheeks, um, I start off with a cream. I I used to use this, but sometimes with the cream, or no, not cream. This one's like a little bit thicker cream. It just sometimes it doesn't blend out as well as I want it to. But the Stilla Kitten comes out amazing and flawless. And this is like a little bit more of like a pink tone as well. And I'm just going to go right above here. And then I go up on my forehead a little bit. Same thing on the other side, on the cheek, and then go up, kind of do that, these, and everywhere you, you did before. Okay, so we have done all that, highlighter. Next up is mascara. I went to Ulta and um, they I ran out of the primer and my months were big, but they actually gave me the little baby samples, so this is the stuff that I used to use, but then they also gave me a sample of the Tarte Big Ego. And I know this is excessive, but I've been using the primer and then both, and my eyelashes have been looking bomb. So this is what I'm just gonna do, and I'm just gonna go ahead and just speed up this process because you don't need to watch me doing this. All right, and we are done with mascara. The last thing that we are gonna be doing is our lips. So for this, I always start off with um, lip balm. This does have F uh, SPF 15. Ah, oh, that was, ah, oh, forgot. I had an SPF tinted moisturizer that I meant to start off with that has SPF 30 in it. Dang it, always use your SPF, always. So now, I'm gonna go in with my nude lip liner. Yes, lip liner is still a thing because I have a little baby lips and you know, I kinda gotta see where they're at. So I'm just gonna line my lips first. And then rub my lips in. Now. I do always start off with a nude, but I end up six and a half hours later, a few inches later, two thousand years later. It's fine. Anyways, I usually use a um a brown um liner if I really want my lips to pop. Can't find it right now. I'm not gonna go through all that. But I'm gonna go grab my lip color and I will be right back. So I've been loving the Buxom lip gloss. I've been into lip glosses lately, so this is what I usually end up using over the color I use. And the color I'm using today is my Tarte. Um, this one's a Tarte lip color in the color Rosé. Where's a rose? It's Rosé. This color stays on legit all day. And rub that in. All right, and I'm gonna let that dry for a second. Also, in the meantime, I know I had a little bit of uh, marks from my mascara, 
but the best thing to do for that is let it dry then take a q-tip and then just rub it right off and it'll come right off without smearing your makeup so if it smears or if it goes on immediately let it dry do not touch it immediately all right so that has dried and then i'm just going to go in and this one is in the color amber this is my favorite buxom color all right and there you have it so this is kind of like my everyday like I said, I'll be doing another one of like a going out uh, makeup. It's a little bit different, especially with eyeshadows. I'll be applying my eyelashes. Um, and then for lip color, I might do something a little bit more like something a little bit more popping. So anyho, 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 anywho, I hope you guys enjoyed. Um, if you have any questions or anything else, just leave it in the drop box below. And then I'll see you next time. Peace.